what I have done so far is demolded these three. I've got one to go and I'll show you. That um, dye stains your moulds. It's the only one I've seen that actually stains it, but it is so worth it because it is beautiful. That's the amber. This is the next day. It has been waiting 12 hours. And again, it's a bendy uh, resin, but you can touch it. You're not going to leave your fingerprints on it. You're not going to get any gooey marks. This is the beautiful stage to bring it out. You might worry. <laughs> it's like Mr. Jello Man. We bring it out. And then if you lay it flat, it's going to get its shape back again. Now, I am holding these shapes down with masking tape top and in between to make sure it doesn't come up and i'll also make sure that this stays flat the substrate that it's on so it doesn't bend i'm just going to do that now while i remember i want these as straight and taut as possible so um this is the way i did it previously but i never showed you a video of it i showed you the one where i twist it around the bar which was um, resin with the twist, the sun catches. But now we're just evolving it a little bit. And I am going to place my masking tape there, just covering the hole and make sure that that is down. Don't worry, it won't leave any imprint. And I'm going to get another piece of resin ready. Kind of like reminds me of, uh, I don't know, like lollipop sticks and candy canes. I go to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with those two sweets. Anyway. I am going to work at the top and I'm just going to slowly twist it with my hands and I think I can get three rotations uh, and I'm getting it to stretch out just a little bit, not putting any fingerprints in there, but just holding it down with my thumb and using my masking tape to hold its shape. Just going to check that that line is straight down and it's not angled because when it holds down i want it to be straight okay. there we go that's much better and you want to make sure that this ends flat as well and then this is where i'm going to go in with my masking tape again and i'm just going to put it down either side here just to make sure it's not going to spring up when we're away because there is a little little bit of uh is that even a word? Resistance? Because we're going to leave this now for two days, uh, which is kind of cool. These ones might not want glitter. They might just be pretty enough as they are. Uh, but I'll wait, I'll contemplate, and I'll have a little look. Uh, you could turn these into Christmas decorations and have them hanging down off your tree. Sun catches or just beautiful wind, uh, wind chimes. But well, that's what we do at this stage. I will see you in two to three days, depending on your resin. You want to make sure it's really, really, really cured so it's not going to lose shape the minute you remove it from the tape. See you in three days. So these have been baked. They're set. No movement in them now. Nice and rock hard. There's just a tiny little bit of um, indentation where uh, the masking tape was so maybe i should have left it another hour but i've put some alcohol on there and given it a rub and it still looks pretty it's not too bad but if it really bugs you you can always add a little bit of bling there to cover that little uh, bottom part off maybe a little bit of sparkle which is what i might do depending on how they all are this one's um turned out lovely let's see if they all have held their shapes yeah, this is a tiny little bit of um, indentation from where the parcel tape was, which is not something I normally have. So I must have done it just slightly too early. But the idea, they still look like they belong in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or chi 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 bang bang. All of these are going to need a hole with a Dremel. The top part's already got one. So I'll use some of this masking tape I'm taking off now to put on the bottom to protect it. I just wanted to have a look at them all first. Make sure there's going to be no movement in them and that they are fully cured. Which they are, so they should hold that lovely shape. A little bit of breeze. 
so I will get my little bit of um, masking tape to put back where the holes are going to be. We'll drill the holes and then I'm going to add a tiny little bit of bling. The reason I'm putting masking tape on there is when my Dremel goes in, I want it to not leave any marks. Gonna put them on top of here so that when I drill through with my Dremel, it's not gonna impact my table or the board underneath. A little bit of alcohol on a cloth just to clear the ends. So here we are with the project complete. It's been a rainy day, but luckily the sun's come out. And these twists in these colors, whether it be the tassels all the way down to the prisms, the sun catchers, absolutely love. I, lessons learned, with this resin needed to like cure a little bit, there is just a tiny little bit of an imprint where the masking tape held it in place. But I still think they're worth showing. They'll still be worth gifting and these are really great ideas for yourself, for gifts or for selling. And they really do look like they are candy. <laughs> Love those. Just that bright over the top pigmented colour. As with any resin projects that you're doing, if they're going to be placed in the sun, they have to be highly pigmented. They will fade over time. But I would put these on the inside of my window so you're not necessarily getting sun on it all the time. But, yeah, let me know what you think. Has it inspired you to twist your resin? I've got so many different ideas with this uh, that I'm going to be working on and showing you. But, absolutely stunning colours. You can use any transparent pigments you've got. Just make sure they're highly concentrated. But I'm just going to twist it around so you get to see the other side. It's very hard when you've just got one hand. So you saw me do the yellow one. So if you haven't seen that, go back. That was where I twisted it around a cane like this. So you've got bigger um, twists. With this one, I've pushed it. And I've got some other projects where I'm going to take it to a whole different direction or a whole different level. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments, always welcome. If you haven't already um, joined my Facebook group, consider joining and showcasing the art. If you've been inspired by my colour choices or the projects, I would love to see it. It's a really nice community where people get to showcase their work and support each other. But I will see you on the next video. And think of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And <laughs> think about um, also uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Doot! Sweets! See you on the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.